This is the pro bike of two-time UFC champion Conor McGregor. Yeah, I know he's not a pro cyclist, but he's a pro athlete. And trust me, this bike is so bling, it truly deserves its place here on GCN Tech. Now the frame itself comes from Irish brand 51. Now they're from Dublin, and that's where McGregor comes from himself. Now the frame, it is built of NV Composites carbon tubes. And once we get up close, you're gonna see some amazing details on there. The frame size is from the center of the bottom bracket to the top of the seat tube, and that's 51 centimeters. Now the saddle, that comes from Physique, and it's the Antares model, and look at that. That is bling, that is gold. That is McGregor all over, I think. Uh, the seat post, that is zip. And then moving forward, we've got a zip bar and stem combo, an aerodynamic handlebar there. And wait until you see that paintwork up close. That's simply breathtaking. Uh, controls are from SRAM Red, and it's the ETAP. So wireless shifting. And Physique Bar Tape, finish it off nicely there too. Now the derailleurs, they are SRAM Red ETAP to match up with those levers. Now the cassette ratio, that's 11.26. McGregor must be pretty handy on a bike, I reckon. And the chain set, SRAM Red 2, 5339 chain rings, and the crank length, 172.5. Now, let's look at these pedals. I know what some of you at home may well be thinking, but these are actually on there for a very good reason, these Crank Brothers custom pedals. I'll get onto that a bit later on. Now the brake calipers, they are SRAM red, and in there are ZIP's carbon-specific brake pads, and that's to match up with the ZIP 454 NSW clincher wheels, featuring that sawtooth technology. Now McGregor, he still lives in Ireland, as we've said, and believe me, it's pretty windy out there, and apparently this sawtooth technology is actually meant to help stabilize the bike in crosswinds. On there, as well, we've got the ZIP Tangenti tires. They're coming in at 25.2 millimeters on our digital calipers. Now, the 51 McGregor frame was actually born in Dublin 12, and that's the same place where McGregor's born. So a little bit of a link there, as well as the fact that he actually trains in a gym about one kilometer away from the manufacturer. Now, these gold decals, well, no, they're not decals. That's actually 24 karat gold leaf placed onto the frame forks, handlebars, and seat posts. Apparently, it takes about a working week to complete the paintwork on this frame. A week to paint a frame. Now that is some fine detail indeed. Now moving on from that 24 karat gold leaf, yeah, we're gonna leave that just for a moment. What have we got here? This is ghost painted Notorious McGregor on the frame, seat post, fork, and stem. And notorious he is indeed. Now moving on for the fine details, on the seat tube here, we've got his son's date of birth, also called Connor, of course. Uh, on the inside of the left-hand side chainstay, we've got handmade in Dublin, Ireland. And check out this, an Irish flag to represent Ireland. Now up until recently, I wasn't actually aware that Conor McGregor cycled himself until I saw a photo of him on Instagram out riding in the desert. Uh, the reason behind his cycling is actually his coach. His coach was a former Irish road race champion back in 1993, Julian Dolby. Look the name up. So Dolby decided to take it upon himself to install a cycling structure behind McGregor. And that's where we've come to. That's why he rides a bike. Now, why cycling? It was actually to increase McGregor's aerobic endurance. And I'm pretty sure that Dolby, he would have been an instigator behind that. Now, why these Crank Brothers flat pedals, I hear you ask? Well, McGregor actually suffered a serious ACL injury. He actually destroyed 80% of it, but he came back from that in record time. He doesn't feel quite ready yet for clipless pedals. And do you know what? I'm not gonna tell him to use clipless pedals. The measurements from the tip of the saddle to the center of the bars, that's 54.7 centimeters. The zip stem, that's 12 and a half centimeters. And the bars, they measure in at 44 wide. Time for the weigh-in. This isn't the usual type of weigh-in though for McGregor. It comes in at 7.1 kilos. And I'll tell you what, Connor, if you're gonna be riding in the mountains, maybe remove that gold, save yourself a bit of weight. Right, the moment you've all been waiting for, the free hub sound test. There we are, Conor McGregor's gold-plated bike from 51. Now let me know what you think of it down there in the comments, especially now you know what those flat pedals are all about. Yep, you heard it here. So remember to like and share this video with your friends and subscribe to the GCN Tech channel. Click on the logo on screen right now. And for two more great videos, how about clicking down here to see what jersey is a pro's favorite and down here for a pro bike.